good morning. It's day seven. Ooh. Red. So this is the first one that doesn't really go with that like pastel theme. So it'll be interesting to see what it looks like with the other ones, but it's a really, really nice red and it's called not pink, not green, not aquamarine. Surprised it's not for the Queen of Hearts. I realize it's definitely for the Queen of Hearts. It's not pink, not green, not aquamarine talking about painting the roses red. It's morning, I need coffee. Chad went into the outer realms and brought me a latte. Latte. It's a Cafe Miel from Quills, and it's made with oat milk, which is my favorite non-dairy milk, because I'm lactose intolerant. Hey, cup. 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 That's not the treat, sit. There you go. Oh, you're so good. <laughs> mm. Last time I gave her one of these, she just like licked all the frosting off. Monday and I've received many packages. I will open them now. This is from Me Undies and it is something I ordered myself because of Black Friday sales. And I showed you my crazy orange pants the other day. So I like these pants. I also have a pair that has koalas all over them and there's some cat battles happening uh but i got plaid ones they can be christmasy and they're super comfy they have four whole pockets even though they are women's pants uh and yeah i'm excited to have festive holiday pants so that's my first package next package is from David's Tea. This is another thing I ordered for myself. Three things I ordered for myself, one thing was sent to me. It's, as you could probably guess, it's tea. So, I got butterscotch chai which is it says butterscotch chai and that is just not correct it's actually a rubo's tea it's not a chai tea I, I don't think it's even that spicy but they're calling it butterscotch chai so it's a decaf tea that I will definitely make myself very soon and then the other one I got is salted caramel shortbread and these are, yeah, these are packets because it, there was like a deal where it was cheaper to get the little packets than it was to get the loose leaf. So this is another decaf one because I've just been drinking my Trader Joe's pumpkin rubos uh, decaf and needed more decaf flavors. And I've had this one before. It's really good. And this is a sample packets of super ginger rubos that's nice they like picked one that was like the other teas i ordered and then this is a fun little gingerbread blondie like christmas cracker thing that i ordered to be a prize for the wicked enchantress knit along so this one is not for me it's a prize for you just move my cardboard out of the way All right, this is a package that I got from Crystal Grams, uh, which is a online crystal 
salesperson. They do live sales on Instagram. And they did a big, get this out. They did a, this is really heavy. They did a big uh, like Black Friday live sale situation where they were doing all sets uh, and everything was 50% off. So this was like crazy cheap for this many things. And I have, I might keep, I might keep all of them. I might give some as gifts. We'll see. Um, so they have these really nice boxes that they send their stuff in. I'm definitely gonna save the box to ship candles in. If I can open the box. There we go. And it has some eco-friendly packaging stuff. Came with some stickers. Stick on something. Oh, eco-friendly packaging stuff. You're gonna get all over my house, aren't you? Let's put this in the compost area. Okay, that was the bulk of it. And now I have a bunch of little cute, tiny crystal tissue papers to open. They have crystal paper, tissue paper, and they're all sealed with a little sticker. And they're all packed up cute and nice in this box. And I will open them. I don't know if I remember everything that is in here. There's a bunch of stuff. This one is super cool. It's a really cool amethyst. Like root. I don't really have amazing light to show off these crystals in the kitchen, I'm realizing. I couldn't find a flashlight, so. I'll just show you these crystals and they won't be at their sparkliest because I don't have a light to shine them in front of. So we got that amethyst point, which is cool. This is a little baby one. It's a cute fluorite tower got a little purple top and some smokiness throughout. I had to get I had to get buttercup and stop her from just working outside. Um, a little tiny baby package. This is a cool uh, tourmaline Quartz. It's a piece of quartz with tourmaline going through it, which makes these really cool little lines, and it's like a little pocket-sized piece. Neat. This one's very tiny. It's something. Really cute piece of smoky quartz that has two points. It's very cool. A whole little collection here. This is a really big chunky piece of raw quartz. It's cool. It looks like a piece of ice. This is a really sparkly amethyst geode. That's cool. It's kind of uh, like light, really light lavender in there and it's very sparkly. And it's just a raw amethyst geode. Okay, last little package. This is one of the biggest packages. This is awesome. This is a giant Labradorite 
polished stone and it's just like huge it's like the size of my whole hand and it does have uh it's hard to get in this lighting situation but it has some rainbow flashes going on there that's super cool so that's my whole new rock collection that is really awesome uh let me know if there are particular ones you would like included in like maybe the wicked enchantress prizes we'll see and finally i have this really big box and i know what's inside this really big box i'm very excited to show it to you blanket that fans of the F This Knit podcast made and sent to, sent to uh, the hosts, Amber, Aaron, and myself. And there's a beautiful little card. And oh, there's a note that says who completed all of the squares, which is really cool. Okay, well, I can't I can't read this note because it's going to make me cry. So I won't read this note. Uh, but I wanted to show you the blanket. So several members of the Chatty Bitches Discord pitched in and knitted this for us. And we're gonna do like a Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants situation, I think. It's a massive blanket. It's huge. It's so cool. Uh, I probably can't share a bunch of the squares on YouTube because I think that many of the squares, yes, have awesome profanities on them. Uh, but Becky was super nice. Uh, she's one of the chatty bitches and she did the sewing together of the squares and attaching this lining on here and then she sent it to us. And it's so cool. I can't wait to show it to Erin and Amber. There's so many cool squares. There's lots of bits of anatomy on here, which is fun. There's lots of secret, hidden, shadow knitting, swear words. So many, oh, there's a cool, cool uterus. Nice hand flipping the bird. Yeah, I'm not sure how much of this I'm allowed to share on YouTube, but it's spectacular. And I will definitely post a picture of the gloriousness on the FTK Instagram because it's epic. So if you made a square for this, if you p help put this together, it's so cool. And Amber, Aaron, and I are gonna be really excited to use this. There's other fun stuff in here I have to dig out. I'm so pumped. There's chocolate pumpkins in here. It's very exciting. And ooh, this is a cool woven bead bracelet situation. It's very exciting. Okay, so I have to go take an amazing picture of this blanket. But before I go take an amazing picture of this blanket, check out how cool these bead bracelets are. I will pop a link in the doodad for who made these because they're so awesome 